today I'm going to show you how I went from this arm to this one making my own sugar wax at home with ingredients you as well probably have in your own cupboards it's so affordable so quick it's convenient gets the job done I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see a sugar wax recipe and a lot of you wanted to see it so if you do want to know just keep on watching the first thing you're going to need is some granulated sugar and you want to take any cup and fill the cup with the sugar like I'm doing so here it's this recipe is so simple that's why this video is so short so once you've filled the cup you want to put it into a pan and then you want to keep a uh, one eight in, in your mind so basically um, eight parts sugar one part water so you want to use one eighth of the amount of sugar in water and then two large tablespoons of lemon juice literally that's it and you just want to put all of that in a bowl, mix it a bit and put it on high heat for a bit just until it starts bubbling up. And I don't know if I've explained that properly but basically if you have a cup, um, you want to fill that cup with sugar and then afterwards fill one eighth of that cup with water and then put it in the sugar um, with the pan and then two tablespoons of lemon. It's that easy. You really don't need anything else. And then the next thing is you need, which is so important, is a candy thermometer, which I got from Amazon. You want to wait till your sugar um, mixture goes to 260 Fahrenheit. Now before, every time I was making my sugar wax, it would mess up because I would always wing it and I wouldn't get the consistency right. But once you get it to 260 Fahrenheit, not Celsius, Fahrenheit, the consistency is perfect for hair removal. I always keep these empty Nutella jars in the kitchen, warm it up with some hot water and then pour it up, um, pour the old sugar wax mixture in there and you want to let it cool down. Please make sure to it cools down. Once it has, it will go this dark brownish colour. Then you want to have some of these um, sugar, these wax strips, what am I on about? I've got these from Amazon and these wooden um, spatula things again from Amazon. I will link everything in the info box for you guys. And this is the consistency you will have. Um, and like I said, the candy thermometer is key, like it just helps you so much. I mainly do sugar waxing on places on my body where I haven't gotten laser hair removal yet. So places where I have, I shave, and places like my armpits, my arms. I don't. I shave my legs because I can't be honest, and I've had laser hair removal there before. But yeah, arms and my armpits are where I wax usually. So here I take the wax and I go against the growth of the hair, um, and now I'm going to let that sit a bit, and then you want to grab your wax strip and press against the growth of the hair so the direction of the hair you want to press against that and then pull the wax strip in the direction of the hair growth and I know not a lot of you agree with this because it's so different to normal waxing but please do your research this is how sugar waxing is done it's just the opposite basically to normal waxing so you uh, apply the wax in the opposite direction of the hair growth press the wax strip in the opposite direction of the hair growth and then pull in the direction of the hair growth and this just um, really helps to prevent ingrown hairs and you also want to make sure after you're, you've done waxing and everything that you exfoliate very often and yeah this is super easy guys it's all natural convenient and you can do it anyway you can do it down below as well i'm telling you it's the best thing ever and you can do it at home you don't need someone else doing it for you it's so cheap I, I just recommend it to anyone it's just the easiest thing and for me personally this is just great for places where I haven't gotten my laser hair removal yet and lemon in this mixture really helps with the pigmentation I have on my armpits and on my elbows and stuff it's just amazing it's so good for pigmentation so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching